A popular multidisciplinary program offered at Purdue goes by the name of EPICS, which is an acronym for Engineering Projects and Community Service. In 2009, the program and its participants began a project with dual purposes, to inspire students to engage in STEM education and also to memorialize a well-known astronaut who is also a well-respected alumna of Purdue. The project was completed in 2015 with extraordinary results. The following segment will give you a look into the concept, creation, and inspiration of the Voss Memorial Monument, which is located right here on Purdue's campus. Voss stands for visiting our solar system, and that's kind of the name of just our team. But it's also, in and of itself, a dedication to Janice Voss. So Janice Voss was a former Purdue alum. Uh, she was an astronaut for NASA. Um, and she was really, really dedicated Purdue alum. She donated a lot of her uh, personal belongings and a lot of her NASA artifacts to Purdue. So they had a great, she had a great relationship with Purdue and she often gave talks here. And one of the greatest things about Janice Voss, in my opinion, was, was that she was so dedicated to making the future generations to be the best that they wanted to be. She was part of NASA. She actually went up five times and she holds jointly the record for the most amount of time to be in space for a woman. Janice Voss was all about education. She's about collaboration. She's about inspiration. And I think the idea that she would see the ending product is one thing. Wow, it's gorgeous. Wow, it's inspirational. Wow, it's educational. But I almost think it's a bigger deal that there were so many students involved. What I, what I heard frequently is, she, she'd like the, the logo, and she'd like the idea of visiting our solar system, that it's for everybody. What she would be most proud of and most excited about is how just the process was one of inspiration. After her untimely death in 2012, uh, the thought was this would maybe be an appropriate memorial to her. The purpose was to memorialize Janice Voss and really inspire STEM education. So Janice would have loved the way this turned out. It's located in Discovery Park, uh, just outside the hall for Discovery and Learning. For educational purposes, when we're talking about bringing a, a field trip and to be able to really see the differences in, in distances, it was decided it should be contained in one area. So it's in a prominent place on campus that really inspires learning, research, education. So choosing that was a big part of it. We want it to be both size and scale accurate. Let's see, yeah, size and scale, distance scale, and actual size of the planets. We want it to be something physical that you can actually touch. And this was a, a place that the students actually uh, worked with the campus architect and, uh, and planning office to say well, what's a good place on the campus to do this type of uh, sculpture and landscaping. The, uh, the sun is, uh, as it's uh, constructed now is uh, aluminum tubing. Um, so it's 45 foot in diameter. The sun is layered as it is in real life. So you have the core and then you have the outer uh, layers. And the outermost layer has all the, like, the swirls around it. Um, and that represents the turbulent uh, surface of the sun. You have all of the planets and they include every single planet, planetary orbit which is really cool. It's, it's really big uh, um, and you can walk a Fibonacci spiral path to see all the planets and the outer planets have their own uh, planet pavilions. At each planet, starting with Neptune going all the way up to Mercury, there's their own individual section. And actually at each section, there's a star map and constellations that light up at night. When you're able to actually start at the, at the beginning or kind of the end of the solar system, you start at the Janus Voss Memorial, and also where Pluto was, and you walk through and it's like telling a story. It's like telling the story of the, the, of the solar system, and you finally reach the sun, and it's just absolutely magnificent. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. It turned out better than what I thought it was going to be, and how I was there when there was nothing here and it was all dirt. So it's pretty amazing. It's, I never thought I'd be a part of something so big. It, it is far beyond any of my most optimistic expectations or hopes for what the sculpture could be. I love it. I think there are so many little parts about it that not everybody knows about. For instance, on the constellations, there's 
a planet on every single constellation plaza that marks a point in Janice Voss's life, life, like when she was born, her first flight. It has all the educational aspects it needs. It has a lot of the inspirational and the artistic aspects it needs, but it also has that little twinge of like trivia, the little something extra that makes it more memorable. Janice Voss's family uh, was able to come down when we did the presentation to the public and they loved it and I think we're all really thinking that Janice Voss would have loved it. She loved space, she loved the earth and the outdoors and so you combine all those together in this one project and I, I really believe that she would, uh, she would have approved of, of the project. I've actually met Janice's parents and what they said is she's a very quiet person and she didn't like the attention on herself but I believe she would love the attention it gives to STEM education. So I think she'd be very proud about how we're promoting space education, all STEM majors, science, technology, engineering, math, and I think she'd be happy with what we came up with. You can learn more about Voss and watch a virtual fly-through of the model at the website below.